Howdy folks, we are here, Martinus Rankin, Mississippi State left tackle, we're going up against LSU. Uh, there were audio problems earlier, I was going through Georgia, so hopefully I solved those. If not, please go ahead and let me know, comment in the stream as one of you guys did to tell me that you couldn't hear me. Uh, very important that you can hear me, I would like for you guys to be able to do that. So, uh, if you can't, let me know. But all the problems should be solved right now, Martinus Rankins, will. Uh, I'll go back and do the Georgia tape. Probably, you know, just to complete my eval, we'll go through different tape that y'all haven't seen yet. Uh, but Martinus Rankin so far, good, solid player. A lot to like, some things that are concerning. Good athlete, no really overwhelming traits for me right now. Um, but he seems to be a well-round player and, and a guy that you can definitely, I would say, you know, start at, at a tackle position. Let's get into the uh, LSU tape. Probably dealing with Arden Key. Arden Key, good football player, ladies and gentlemen. So it'll be fun to watch. And this video quality is less than ideal. Can we go any higher? Let's go higher. Mississippi State's, oh yeah, that's much better. That's what I like to see. Mississippi State's offense is disadvantageous for us. It does not help because they do so many different unique things. Dan Mullen going down to Gainesville. Good shot, good extension, good play. <clears throat> Oh, on the move. Go get him, baby. Go hit somebody. Yeah, spring that boy. That was good stuff. All right, so let's see. I like his explosiveness out of his stance. We've already talked about this. I like the way he comes up out of his stance. All right, good moving, good moving, good moving. Tracking, great cut. Good play. He's comfortable on the hoof, guys. Yeah, I mean, come on. That's what you like to see. He's a good athlete, guys. Very good athlete. Got to be excited about that. Oh, here we are. Remember, Arden Key is 49. He's on the opposite side. He's up against the right tackle of the tight end right now. we got to be keeping an eye on Arden Key. Uh-oh. 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 We have allowed ourselves a pressure, Mr. Rankin. What happened here? Is that Key? 48? Is Key 48 or 49? Let's go find out. Lungeon. Arden Key is 49, so this is not Arden Key up against whom he just went and lost. And what's going to happen here? All right, so we've already seen this a couple times. He doesn't get as vertical in his set as I'd like for him to do, right, number one. So now we, we kinda, we're kind of setting a very, you can, you can see with the right tackle as well, very kind of shallow pocket, shallow bowl. You know, I want this to look more, you know, like that. I want, I want to be able to, you know, you, you don't want to invite the inside move, obviously, so you need your guard to be getting depth as well. But I want I want this pocket to look a little bit deeper, right? Protect your your quarterback. He's out of the, the pistol, the shotgun. It looks like the shotgun. He's taking you know a three step drop out of the shotgun. You got to gain some depth there. You know you got to get between. Can't give up a, a, an outside edge. That being said, I believe he gets beat inside. So let's see what happens. Lunging, lunging, and we don't land a punch. Right? So when we punch, we got to keep our weight back. We got to be able to generate all of our power. Perfect pause. Good job, Ben. Look at the angle here. Look at the angle in the back, right? That angle right now, shoulder, arms, all this weight is forward. Everything coming forward. Heels off the ground. Heels off the ground, you're not holding your own weight, right? You're looking to lean on the guy. You lean, you miss him, you lean on nothing, and you're done, right? This is a big problem. So when we punch, we want to be keeping our, our, our butt back, and we want to be keeping our shoulders above our heels. We want integrity down this line of the body. But as you can see, there's that curve right there. That's no bueno. And so what's going to happen now? 48 is a good job smacking with the hands, disengaging, not able to land the punch. Rankin can't. Oof. There's the whiff. There's the strike. First time we've seen that problem. And then we got something we keep in mind, right? We got to see if it's a recurring issue or if we just got beat by one. All right, up against Key this time. There's 49. Nice. Key doesn't really have a plan here, though, which is a problem I have with Key. Okay, Key's got the length to land this punch, but he doesn't. He's kind of grabbing at the shoulder pads. Rankin, nice punch. So if you're with me for the Georgia game, you know, we knew Rankin here does a great job keeping his hands inside, low, gets him inside of key, right? And we got, let's get rid of this thing, get rid of this thing, right? We're, we're Quick punch, powerful punch inside, lock the hands, and now we're in control, right? And now you might say what you see here, right, is, is kind of the same thing. You see that body angle of Rankin, but he, he does a much better job here, I think landing this punch right he gets squarely inside uh, operates you know extends the elbows that was better he's still got a little bit of that lean like we were talking about up against key again i want to see a little bit more torsion strength here getting turned key does a good job using length to disengage rank is not the longest guy arm length might relegate him to guard 
It's a shame. Oh, Fitzgerald. Third and 16, man. Just survive. Either extend this player or get rid of it. Alright, how are we doing on our volume? Everybody hear me? Alright, I like these angles. These angles are helpful. And we see him attacking here, right? He's coming to meet and key, right? Bringing the hands. Those hands, that very that, that does frustrate me, mate, as you guys know. I get frustrated when he when he his punch comes this far back, right? This is less than good. And don't like that. Don't like how far back those elbows come. Hands gotta be quicker. Punch gotta be quicker. All right. Nice little mirroring quickness here, right? Ability. We got a, we got like a jump set situation, right? So you see him bring the post foot first, right? So watch that right foot is going to be the first foot to. Oh, left foot takes a bucket step, but he's coming out and attacking, right? He is not. This is not a uh, not net, not a 45 degree set, not a vertical set. He's coming straight for key, right? Now initial hands land, and then see, watch him mirror in space, right? This is him using his natural skills to his advantage, right? I get that quick set. Edge isn't ready. It looks like a run block almost, right? Quick set. Now I get to I get to disrupt your initial plan right away. And now I know I have the foot speed and lateral agility. Mirror, mirror, mirror. Patient. Use my hands. Nice. Good rep. That was a good rep that illustrated some of his strengths. You know what I'm saying? Volume is good. Go team. Ben, technical wizard. I moved like two sliders, so I expect a lot of a lot of credit, please and thank you. Uh oh. We got we got that interior hold. I don't think they're gonna call that. They rarely do. But look at that left hand. See that left hand flounder, right? Big 99 or 69 here, I believe it is. Nice. No, it is 99. Not nice. My bad. But I want that left arm to land, guys. I want boom right here. You should be able to keep that left arm in place. If you can see it coming out, keep that left arm there and drive torsion strength. You know, use that core. But the left hand doesn't land, and now he's able to clear Martin uh, Martinez's shoulders and get involved in the play. Oh, flag does come down. Are they gonna tell us who that's on? Who throws it? Back, uh, the ref right here throws it. You're going to see Rankin with the hold? Yeah, I think he did. Uh-oh. That's no good, son. Nice wash. This guy inside. Oh, no. All right, all right. I was looking at the tight end. All right, left tackle. Oh, he gets a little help from the chip there. He gets a little help from the chip. Three man front, key on the outside, go get him. Woo! Look at that back head skinny through the hole. Alright, we're gonna combo block. This is the first one I've seen that handle. Oh, nice run, son. Alright. Aris Williams, I believe this running back is from Mississippi State. I know that John Ledger likes him a lot. Alright, look at this. Get the shoulder in there. Nice. This is a good combo block. Left guard doesn't do his job. This is good work by Rankin. So, boom. Look at that initial contact right coming in there with the right shoulder. That's great. His job now is to jar that defensive tackle into the left guard. Left guard is responsible for coming in and engaging. Once Rankin feels that left guard come in to take over the block, Rankin disengages and, go, and climbs to the second level to go get his responsibility. So, as he comes through, all right, now he's disengaging. That left guard's got to get inside. Left guard is not in a good position. It's more left guard's fault. So, now let's see Rankin land on this linebacker. All right, driving to the ground. Good play by Rankin. Wasn't well executed with the left guard next to him, but that's all right. Oh, good. We get another angle on this. So you can watch here. Boom. Look at that initial displacement. You can't ask for much better, 73. You got to go get yourself in there, son. So Rankin's going to come. We see a half back in, or H back in motion. Excuse me. Boom. Boom. Very nice. Good work. Go for it. Go for it, Mullen. Fourth and one. I didn't go for it. Oh, Mississippi State wins this game. That's right. 2-0. Beat number 12. Oh, missed it. All right, interior rusher. Oh, oh, yeah. There's about 100 things to like about this. Again, he doesn't sustain second-level blocks, though. Sustain! Like, jarring him around. Let's talk about this. We got rank in here. He knows he's working the combo again, right? You got two players. Left guard, left tackle. Working the combo. Working 
through this defensive tackle, Rank can get into the second level. That's what we want to see. I have no idea why those lines are so janky. Now, once that 99 moves inside, Rankin knows, all right, sweet. All I got to do is make sure left guard seals this reach block, and I'm free to climb to the second level. Here we go. Easy. Boom. Now, that's my target. Now, what I want to see you do, you look at how his body is, right? He's lunging. He's throwing him in there, right? I want to see you get hands on him and drive him, take him, because you never know what this halfback is doing, right? You never know where he's cutting, because you're not facing that direction. So you got to sustain your block. Make it very, take a guy and move him so that the running back knows where he's going to be. When you pop him like this, he's back in the play now, right? you gotta go, you got to go deal with him again. Now 24 ends up getting involved in the play. So rank it. Sustain your second level blocks. Land your hands. Again, grip strength still, still uh, is a problem for me. Lack of sustaining is definitely coachable. It's a good question. Absolutely is. Right now, look at that. You know, hands inside, that's sustaining a block. That's what sustaining it is. In the second level, he's looking to demolish people, which I don't want to discourage him from doing that, but I want to teach him why it's valuable to sustain blocks like that. You know what I'm saying? Good patience. Good patience here off the edge. I see a blitzer coming in. Look at him just give up his in the inside of his chest, though. Look at him just let let the let the linebacker take it. Not going to get away with that in the NFL. You're not going to do it. He's a much better, you know, you're going to get much better pass rushes at the linebacker position than you are again here at LSU. All right, interesting little rep there. What happens here? Go get it, Aris. Aris. I don't know how to say his name. All right. So Rankin, first, it looks like he full starts. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. But then he's trying to get this, you know, we're, we're, we're going zone right, and so he's trying to get this reach block on 99. Now, it might look like, you know, uh, Rankin's whiffs here, but he doesn't really, because if 99's taking that outside loop the way that he does, he's effectively removing himself from the play. So Rankin, good athlete, gets the hips turned, and then just drives and finishes him. That's fine. Again, you know, kind of let the, let, let's go with that block early. That's not my favorite thing. That's the other thing you got to recognize with sustaining a block. Here in Mullen's system, he doesn't really have to do it for a while on most plays, because the plays are so quick hitting in space. Look, at great mover, guys. Look at him off the ball. Look at the explosiveness. Great mover. That's a nice little cut there by 22. A little push the hole and then jump outside. Run. Yep. Left tackle's helmet in front of the left guard is a run. It was on that play that we just broke down. It's on this play here. And we're seeing this combo block. So this time what happens, right? Right, he gets that right shoulder in there. 73 could really never get inside. So 73 says, all right, I'm just going to scrape around you and go tag 40. Now he gets caught up in trash. But that just says ranking, all right, you sustained. You've got good initial leverage. Shoulder fits. Now just ride him down the field. He does start to disengage 99, doesn't then just trips. That's 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 fortunate for ranking. Explosive out of the stance, guys. All right, Nick, what are you going to do for us in the red zone? Oh, a little cut on the backside block. Quarterback dives. Right, so a little inside zone look, and you're just scooping on the backside, right? So you scoop on that. When you're scooping on zone, a little scoop on the backside of zone, what will happen is guard – oh, wait, I need to get my pen. Guard immediately releases and climbs up to the second level. Tackle on the backside comes and cuts that defensive tackle who's in between that three-tech between the guard and the tackle. That's what scooping is on the backside of a zone concept. So there's the scoop. Easy dive, cut 99, touchdown. Good execution. All right, so now we're gonna watch. We're gonna watch a scoop. There it is, right there, right. Left tackle going down. Left guard climbing up. Shell taking it. Little quarterback inside zone with lead block. Love it. Those hands, guys. Those hands are low and late. Big wind up. Oh, I hate this little sprint set they do. It bothers me so much. It looks like the tackles are falling. Did he step out? Oh, that sucks. <laughs> He's pissed. Oh, arc block, right? So what's Rankin doing here, right? You got to figure out what the heck. He's not blocking anybody. So this is a zone read arc. So we got inside zone, inside zone, inside zone, inside zone. Halfbacks running inside zone, right? Rankin running the arc block. So he's foregoing the first level to get to the second level and to get to the outside to the back side of the second level right he's not coming here he wants to come around like this why quarterback can keep it and then run outside of this trip side you see what i'm talking about so that's called arc block right here 
And so he's perfectly fine. The fact that he doesn't really hit anybody, I'm okay with that because he's fulfilling his assignment. Arc block, if quarterback keeps this, right, 48 goes to go take the quarterback, boom, Rankin's right there in his way. And we'll see it again from this angle. Inside zone, Rankin goes out in the arc block. Fun concept. Williams, smart guy, takes that backside cut for the quarterback threat, held the other players. Go pick up three yards. Let, watch how heavy this punch lands, guys. Watch how strong this punch is. Oof, nothing. Right? I'm not seeing a lot of upper body power from Martinus Rankin. This is another great example. Why not Why not finish this block, son? Look at this. So you now he goes over the other side. You just kind of let, well, you know, let the tight end handle it. He's going to split you two. So good initial fit, good initial fit. Now he swims and what? You go, you're worried about 48? You're worried about that... That linebacker, you know, pass him off, think that's coming? I mean, admittedly, what the heck is LSU doing with this, like, weird blitz, everybody pushing? Oh, because they're faking his own read. All right, so I can understand why Rankin's worried that those blitzers are coming in, but finish a block, man. Come on. Stay sustained. Oh, big split there. Where are we going? We're trying to run it up there? Yeah, we are. To before snap, look, look at the size of the split between the left tackle and the left guard, right? Big distance between the helmets. So I'm they're, they're very likely wanting to do something with that with that area, right, with that gap. Whether somebody's pulling or they're trying to run it through it. Let's get rid of the, the markings. So there we go. Good. Gets his hat on the correct side. So we're definitely trying to come up this lane, right? And look at Rankin. Look at Rankin. Get, look, at, look, at, look at how far he gets a field. Explosive through the lower half. He gets, oh, he gets washed a little bit, does he? Does he get snatched? Yeah, look at 99. Right, so watch what 99 is able to do here. This is no good for Rankin, guys. 99 wins with hands. You can already see it. 99 is one. His hands right there. Already locked in on Rankin. Rankin's hands are late as per usual. It's no good. And so what 99 is able to do, and you'll be able to see the stress on his jersey. Look at that. Just chuck him to the ground. A lot of power. 99 right there. Rankin, obviously you're leaning on him a little bit. It's a run block. That's going to happen. Rankin just gets driven forward. He gets thrown forward. And he does a good job going to get a body while he goes. But that speaks to Rankin's inability to get his hands inside and land a grip when he's trying to run block here. Oh, 99 got him again with a little snatch, right? Woo! Now, that being said, it's about four yards down the field. So that's okay. That was, a good, that was a fine block by Rankin. But still, 99's got his number here a little bit. Not that time, Sonny. I think he gets tripped up, probably. Yeah, there's not much power there coming through Rankin. Rankin's arms just don't look too big, to be honest. Juco product, again, you know, we kind of talk about this. He's still fitting into the position. He might be a little bit more raw than you might be willing to take in the first round. Hands don't land, guys. From the jump, 99's got him. Now he gets to move him around. Rankin's got to react. If you're in space, that's no bueno, right? That's not good. Careful with that ball there, Mr. Fitzgerald. Hands are late. He's got great quickness. Great mirroring quickness on the outside. Look at the ability to keep moving the feet. Now, now base gets a little narrow here. we got to watch out for this. Now, keep an active base. See right there. Uh, the video kind of skips a little bit. It's tough to tell what happens. Yeah, see, base gets a little bit narrow there as he's mirroring through. But that's okay. I'm all right with that. He's a good athlete. All those hands drive me nuts, guys. I mean, because of the way LSU is deploying their front, he's not really facing an edge, right? He's, this is a 3-3-5 that he's dealing with. This is a defensive tackle and arc block situation there again, right? But that was weird. Two guys went to the same player. I wonder if somebody's confused here. Oh, you got, you know, LSU very like, you know, look at these, these splits here. So crack block thinks he's got to take this guy. Rank and arc block think he's got to take this guy. So we get two people on the same block, right? And so Rankin had the dude, 23 chucked him, and then nobody was there for the safety. So mistake of assignments. Tough to decide who's responsible there without being able to see how the play is written up. 99 with a long arm. Trying to bend it through, trying to flip those hips. Way to be big guy. I like these unis. Similar situation right now. Again, he's not getting called for the false start. He's moving a little early. But that's really, like, if you're a zone team, you're looking at that going, all right. Like, look at the way this guy can get out of the stance, get across the face there, right? That was nice. I guess I said it a couple times now. Very explosive out of his stance, the young man. 
is a great example of how Mullen's offense makes it impossible to figure out how to diagnose. Like, you know, he's just got to screen people away for a half a second. He's done his job. Hicks on the wrong side of the hole. It's not something we commonly see for ranking here. I'm just kind of working this double. Yeah, it's going straight up the middle. It's okay. It's a, it's a third and short situation. I'm not too upset. Don't know why we watched that. All right. Uh-oh. So, we've seen this a little bit in the Georgia tape. We saw it, you know, we haven't really seen as much here at LSU. Attack stance, right? Pocket should look like this at this point. It right now looks like this, right? Reichen in front of all the other linemen, right? He's attacking. He's coming forward against this four-man front, right? Believes, all right, I've got the quickness where I can I can discharge this guy immediately. I can just stop his immediate rush plan, and then I'll be able to hang with him the rest of the space. Now he gets caught leaning just a touch, right? Whoever this uh this edge here is does a good job of disengaging. Is this 99 again? Probably, yeah. 99's got your number ranking. Oh, and the spin move from the big boy. 99 is fun, guys. See, uh, if you were with me for the Georgia tape, I said NFL Edge is going to be able to time up his punch because they see how far back his arms come, and that means the punch is coming. 99 knows the punch is coming right now, right? And so what's he going to do? A little cross chop, a little swim move with the hands, get across like that. All right, get the hips through. Now Rankin's in O oh, snap mode, right? This is O oh, snap mode. Rankin's trying to ride with him, ride with him. Finishes, uh, tries to push him through. 99 puts a foot in the ground, spins, goes, gets part of that sack. He probably actually gets credit with none of it, which sucks for, for 99. But that's not a good, that's not a good play for ranking guys. Uh, that the thing is, it all starts with the attack set, right? It all starts with attacking. Now he's in oh snap mode, like I said. Tough to stay engaged when you're in oh snap mode. Who's that? Gilmore? Is that his name? 99. Look at that. A little sustaining power, a little anchor here. Right, a lot more patient. Watch, watch my hat. Watch the way Rankins works his hands here, guys. All right, watch the hands. So I gotta go back like two seconds. I don't wanna go back five seconds. Hands immediately flash out. Right, look. Here are my hands. Now there go my hands. So what's about to come? We already know it's coming. The punch. Here comes the punch. Right. This time though, 99 is attacking the shoulder right away. He gives up his chest plate. Just a bad rush by 99. You know, trying to get the – well, let's see. Is he trying to swipe at the hands? And Rankin's kind of messes with his timing here with flashing the hands. Yeah, Rankin screws with 99's timing because the hands flash, and then they come back, and then they come forward, right? And you just kind of mess up with the timing of the rush there. But good job dropping that anchor, staying sustained. That was nice. Oh, you stepped out, baby. You stepped out. There's the scoop on the little QB, QB zone right there. We've already seen that. Messy this time. Messi was ready for it. Touchdown. Yeah, great call. Oh, safeties ate up that motion initially, the right-hand side. Remember, all questions, all comments, you can go ahead and drop those. Good times. All right. I was not watching that play. I was checking the stream. 17-7. I'll see you guys generate some offense. All right, nice torsion strength there. 99 kind of wanted to already go that way. But look at him. Oh, he gets help. Man, every time I think 55's got a good play, it's kind of because he got help. <laughs> Just not a people mover, guys. Strong catch. I mean, look at, look at how easy this is for Rankin, right? This is rolling out to the right-hand side. So I'm just going to steer you, and I'm just going to chill with you, right? Not even engaging with my hands. The ideal situation for Martinez Rankin. <laughs> you can see him leaning out of that stance comes to pull. Nice shot. 24 has got to have a plan for engagement there. But this is, this is Rankin doing his job. Thing is, you know, I mean, I guess Rankin figures... Halfback's going to be coming outside of him. He just kind of takes him. You know, not a lot of drive there. 24 is a linebacker. I want to see Rankin take him and move him into next week. He's a great move piece. I'm worried about the power. Great movement, great movement. Now, 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 run with him. Run him over. Take him out, baby. All right. Man, sustain the block, man. 
just easy. Like it's just like an easy assignment. You know what I'm saying? Do they whistle those play dead or something? Yeah, there's a whistle. I was very confused. They get him on the false start, 55. False start. Offense, number 55. There it is. They finally caught Rankin for coming out of his stance too quickly on those plays. All right, so this time, inside zone, Rankin's just foregoing the edge player because they think that Fitzgerald will hold him with the threat of the, the read, which is a good choice because Fitzgerald will, and then climb up to the second level. Nice. Good play. NFL comparison for Martinez Rankin. Let me get a little bit deeper into his tape before I give you a good one. That's a good question. Oh, sniff that play out from a mile away. Come on, Mullen. Man, get more involved. Why? Why? Is this, like, designed? Look at this. He moves away from him. Let's let the halfback go take him. Why are you doing that? I don't understand that whatsoever, guys. That's that's very surprising to me. Um, that 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 a left tackle would be head up on a defensive tackle, and then just let him go. I I can't explain that. I don't know what he saw that that led him to believe that that was something he he should do. This is his Georgia tape was a lot more exciting. Speaking plainly, no good. Those two, ninety nine to fifty five, been battling. Get the interior, get those inside hands as they're trying to stretch out that zone concept. It's fun to watch. Ugh. he's protected by Mullen's offense, guys. We're talking about him like he's a uh, he's one of the top five offensive tackles in this class, and he's still going to go high. Because he's he's got great m movement skills, uh, and he's got solid grip strength. He can drop an anchor and pass protection. We've seen that, but Mullen's offense protects the fact that he just gives up his in, the inside of his chest far too often. Look at that. I mean, geez, like it's cool because it's powerful, but it is not like I, this is not gonna work in the NFL, guys. It just won't. Edge rushers aren't gonna be dumb enough to stay there and wait for his punch to come. Oh, oh, somebody please show me this play design. Third and one on the 50, call it a shot play. Oh, that's so freaking cool, right? Let's check this out. Here's 23. Touchdown's going to 23, all right? What are we doing? We got crackback block coming right here. We got a crackback block coming right here. We got a little crackback hezzy. Go. Watch this. I'm coming to crack. No, I'm not. Oh my goodness. What a play design. That's a lot of fun. Must have been a turnover there. Or was there a penalty? I don't know. We can make Fitzgerald on the move. Dak Prescott. A little audible at the line. I mean, y'all know what I'm going to say. He can't land the hands. 99 takes the hands, is the lower man, mosses him around. If that's not a double team, I mean, come on. All right. Better rep for Rankin. Smart throw away for Cheryl. Yeah. Quick hands. This is the attack set again, right? Attacking straight forward at the snap. Boom. Hands inside. Quick punch, and now I know I've got the athleticism to hang with you and at least drive you around for a little bit. I wonder if he's coached on that attack. I'm calling it the attack set. You know, I have no idea what the technical term for it might be. I wonder if he's coached on that set because there's so much play action built into this offense, so much RPO. That it just like it's the same set every single time. He doesn't have to worry about a vertical set when he's in mobile. That will be something that comes into huge question, and that will be constantly be checked for him. Is how does he get into his pass sets, right? I mean, we already know that the offensive tackle versus edge rusher drills in Mobile are skewed for the edge rushers. It's very tough ask for those offensive tackles, 
for a guy like Rankin, I think it's going to be even worse. I would not be surprised if they give him guard reps as well. Lack of sustainment. Right hand, left hand, that was. Left hand's got to readjust. Can't get grip in there. Wow, it's 30 to 7. Jeez. LSU's offense, guys. So, this is a great example. This is a perfect example. Guy he's supposed to block ends up making the tackle. Yes, it's like seven yards down the field. But, no, oh, I'm done. Imagine if 99 were not able to cut this off backside. Right? You are limiting the efficacy of this play. Now, he is, he's got a tough ask to get this reach block done. Hips right now at this angle, what well, we want them to be at this angle, right? We want them to be completely perpendicular so that he can begin his right arm here and, and cutting this guy off from pursuing it backside, which is what he does. Seymour, 99, pursues it backside. Oh, got to get off the pen. There we go. He would be free to make that guy miss. 21, Paris, who goes up making the tackle, and he'd be right off the races. It's disappointing. Zone read Fitzgerald. Oh, oh, making a miss in space. Accidentally kicking your play, your teammate in the gonads. Less than ideal. Rolling away from key. Oh, ball. Let's see, what, what was this play design? Oh, it's another, oh, man, Dan Mullen. Head coach of the Florida Gators in Gainesville. Watch him, watch him fake a block, go. Yes. Oh, so much fun. Go Gators. Go Gators. Is he a first round prospect? Excellent question. I've seen him there. I've I've said that with, with what I've seen from him on, on live viewings that he could potentially be up there. He's got the athleticism to do it. He's got work to do in Mobile with his set and with his punch. Because uh, right now you see so little of him having to do traditional offensive tackle stuff, sustain blocks for three seconds, set the depth of the pocket correctly. He's not having to do a lot of that. It's right there. It's just, he's just attacking, and then he's mirroring, right, which is great physical skill set. That's fun, but it's not going to translate perfectly to the NFL, and he's got work. He's got stuff that he needs to show that he can do. Do they have the backup quarterback in there? Oh, in your face. Go, Tigers. Backup quarterback's in. We sure Rankin is still playing? Yeah, he is. All right, I want to see that second-level block. That's all right. You know, one is 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 15 yards down the field, just trying to do anything he can to avoid being tag uh, being tagged. All right, there we go. Look at this. I get Seymour moving this way. You know, Seymour thinks it's zone. I get my left hand on him. Keep the crease open. Good play, Rankin. That made me feel better. All right, that's that for LSU. We've been going for a pretty significant period of time here. I think that'll be good enough. We also have some of the Georgia tape as well. I said that I would give him, however, a pro comparison. So, Tough one. He's a fantastic athlete in space. Maybe moving back into guard. I don't have a good one right now. I don't have a, I'll be honest, I don't have a good one for his style of play. I've been through now two of his games, one of them featured. I don't have a good one for you at this point. Uh, I don't think he's a first rounder from that tape that I've seen. I would draft him in, in maybe day two, uh, you know, round two, round three, looking there. That, that athleticism is exciting. I think I can definitely make him into an offensive tackle, but right now he is a day one starter, right? And you're drafting day one starters in round one, round two as well. You want to find yourself day one starters. Day uh, Round three is kind of where I'm looking for. All right, this is a player that I can take and I can grow him into a starter. Give him some time there in the locker room. Now, this LSU tape was not as good as his Georgia tape, which uh, I'll make sure that I get more takes out on his Georgia tape. If you're following me on Twitter, at Benjamin Solak, I'll get more takes out on his Georgia tape because that, that recording, you couldn't hear me. Uh, so, you know, he's got he's got a higher ceiling than what we saw, but this LSU tape illustrates his concerns pretty nicely. Uh, but as far as more from his rankings go, that's what we're going to show you just for today. Ranking, good football player. You know, definitely he's got a future in the NFL for sure. Going to be a guy we talk about. Going to have eyes on him in mobile. He's got some money to make. That's exciting for him. I think this this tackle class has room for some risers. Uh, so I think the ranking can be there. But follow me on Twitter at Benjamin Solak. Follow my work uh, at NDT Scouting. 
Draftsmith.com is where I do all my draft stuff. I'll be pretty consistently doing these streams for the rest of the year, increasing frequency as we get closer and closer to the draft. But for now, you know, just uh, follow me on Twitter. Keep hanging around. Interact with me. Good stuff. All right, guys. Take care.